Okay, so at this point, our piece is ready to quench. And the trick here is you've got a whole bunch of silica and it's like, I don't know, maybe a thousand degrees. And you gotta get it cold, right? And so the one thing you need to do is you need to cool it down, but you don't wanna breathe any of the dust. So I know this is anticlimactic, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna quench it under the water and then wave it back and forth as the heat from the plaster forces everything to erupt in a giant explosion of pyroclastic debris. But it just looks like you sticking a little flask into a bucket. But if you do it right, if you do it just right, piece should come out without much effort. So the small stuff is very easy to cool down. You'll get a hold of it fairly quickly. You want to clean your flask out first because that is the hardest thing to do. When it comes to cleaning up your part, that's pretty quick and easy. But if you forget to clean your flask, you end up chipping out a bunch of plaster and it's a pain in the butt. So it's better to take the time and have like just one of these nylon brushes ready. And just scrub it clean so the next investing you do, you don't have to do much work to get the flask spotless. So then you can reach into your bucket and then use that same nylon brush while it's submerged to clean off any of the excess debris. All that plaster that's in there. And so what we have, I don't know if the camera will catch it, but uh, let's try. So this is a casting of the moon carving demo that was on one of the wax carving posts. So I just screwed two of them back to back just because uh, it was easier to get stability and these serve a purpose for other parts of the design. But you just want to get all the plaster off your part. And so if you can't get in there with um, your big nylon brush, toothbrush works just fine. Like so. And you just get used to doing all of your work inside a bucket. Um, it's not like being able to see would be helpful anyway. You want to get all this off so when you go to take your jewelry or whatever this is to the pickle, it cleans up and you don't have a bunch of plaster contaminating your pickle. Or your sink. And so all of this plaster in the bucket can just be dried out and discarded as necessary. Do you want your part? get pretty clean and spotless and because the metal is a dark black that tells me there's a little too much oxidation I could be a little cleaner on my torch or I guess dirtier would be more per, uh, more correct or more accurate we need an electron donor so the acetylene as it burns if it burns sooty uh, that will clean up your metal but when it's this black oxide color that again. This black oxide color that tells us we could go a little cleaner on the surface. Okay. All right, so that's it.